All right, so I'm gonna do a meal challenge and see if we can make a decent, healthy meal from ingredients from the Dollar Tree. That's a good. Mom, do you think you can eat healthy eating at the Dollar Tree? I hope so. Oh, I'm looking. <laughs> Juices over here, we got cheese, bologna, we got pickles. So it looks like, I mean, we got mixed berries, which is surprising. Dollar. A bunch of frozen vegetables right there. I think we're gonna grab and try. Let's see what we got. There's the spinach. We got Riced veggies. Oh, dude, cauliflower. That's healthy. Let's try that. We have the broccoli with the beans. Bean, black beans, red pepper, green pepper. Let's try some of that. I think I need to get bag. That stuff, not so healthy. But the interesting part that I never noticed was we got fish. Hot filet, they got shrimp, semel, wild salmon filet. So let's try this guy. Let's see what we can do. So far, around three bucks right there. I mean, it's pink salmon, so I mean, it's not gonna be the greatest. It's a dollar though. And they have, they have like asparagus. Here we go. So we're gonna spray the asparagus seeds for cauliflower. And boom. We sort of kind of have a meal. Let's see how the cod tastes. I'm curious. Is that fish? I'm just curious to see if it even if oh, it's even good. Have you tried the meatballs? Already? We got cod, I got the pink salmon. Okay. And then oh, I no, got... no, don't get the salmon. Let's... I already got salmon at home. No, no, I want to try it though. Oh, okay. So I'm making a video. Ravioli. No, they got some healthy stuff. Vegetable cut stickers. It's like they have healthy stuff and then they have the complete opposite as well. Are you the bags right now? I have bags. That's okay. A lot of people buying candy today. Yeah. We got no trick or treat, we got no. Oh, no. You said anything about it being Halloween candy? <laughs> no. Maybe people just have a sweet too. Yeah. <laughs> There's never a nod of me. I don't know. I like this kind of junk food better. It's my favorite. You <laughs> take a pop? Oh, that's delicious. It is good. Oh, whoops. You too. Right, so we got the goods. Wild salmon filet, cod filet. We got the asparagus spears. Santa Fe blend with corn, black beans, red pepper, green pepper, and diced onions. Four dollars total. Let's see what it looks like. Real seafood. Rising tide. Skin on and boneless. Got the skin. Nice. Honey baked salmon. What? Oh, there's video recipes. Cod filet. Vacuum sealed. Wild caught. See what it looks like. <laughs> it's just a block. Block of delicious goodness. Oh, this is not really well vacuum sealed, but okay. 
It's a dollar though. I don't know if you can see that, but hopefully that doesn't mess up the fish at all. We'll see. And we're gonna let it thaw. All right, Chef Mom opened the bag of asparagus. What'd you put in there? Just olive oil, salt and pepper. Olive oil, salt and pepper. Let's get it. All right, we're gonna start with the cod. So we got almond flour, we got egg, we got, what's this? Ritz cracker. Ritz cracker? For breadcrumb. Oh, you, you crumpled it up? Fancy. <laughs> Balling on a budget. Okay, let's get it. I'm gonna put some olive oil in the pan and then he's gonna put it in the Okay, we'll put it in the egg. I thought it was panko. <laughs> hey, this works though. Same, same. Maybe better, who knows? Here we go. Okay, so let's turn it. Make sure we get all the sides. All right, now we're sizzling, baby. Okay, let's go on this side now. Let's see how this side looks. Ooh, looking golden crispy. There's the fancy Dollar Tree asparagus, a little burnt from the air fryer, but should be good. All right, I think it's done. Set this right next to, we got the homemade tartar sauce. What'd you put in the tartar sauce? Onions. Onions. Relish. relish lime juice. Lime juice. Mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. All right, we're gonna give this a sample and see how these two taste, and then we're gonna cook the salmon. Let's see how it tastes with out the tartar sauce. Okay, that's what it looks like when we cut into it there. Man, it doesn't look bad. Uh-oh. That could. Let me taste the asparagus first. A little crispy. I mean, not as good as Fresh asparagus. It's a dollar though. But it works. Okay, we gotta throw this fish back on. Alright, recooking it. It's cold in the middle. Should have cut it in two pieces. Trial and error though. Now we're turning it into a fish patty. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta improvise. That fish is dead. How'd you like it? Not fishy? Oh, that's saying a lot. She don't like fish either. All right, the redo, as you can see right there. Let's see, let's just try it by itself without the tartar sauce that we made. Yeah, definitely not the greatest. I don't know if it's just the way that I cooked it, but it definitely tastes like cheap fish for sure. It's a oh boy. Whew. All right, we're, we're, we're adding ingredients. <laughs> not the greatest. <laughs> it, it needs help, that's for sure. Oh yeah, way better with the tartar sauce because it just covers it up. <laughs> it's edible. Definitely way more edible with tartar sauce. But if you're balling on a budget and you want some seafood, I guess try the dollar store. I don't know, may have to try some different recipes, but that's why we're testing stuff out here. Hopefully I don't like crap myself to death or get fucking food poisoning. Asparagus is better than the fish. <laughs> I just hope I don't get sick from it. Because I'm always skeptical of cheap seafood. But maybe if you guys got some suggestions on a better way to cook cod, let me know. I'm not a chef. <clears throat> My mom's a way better cook, so she tried to give me some ideas on how to make it better. Which I think the crust definitely helps. I've never used uh, 
Ritz Cracker Crush before. Have you used a Ritz Cracker Crush before? Mm, yeah, I have. Yeah? That definitely helped it. Oh yeah, almond flour. With egg. So technically, $2 meal if you don't do Ritz crackers, if you don't add tartar sauce, no lime or lemon. But definitely not over $3 from what's on the plate. We tried. <laughs> Let's try the salmon now. My mom went behind my back and cooked the salmon already. How'd you do it? Black and Cajun seasoning. Yeah. But you put it in the air fryer, right? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus. I dropped it. Luckily, it was in the pan. Welcome to ghetto cooking. Jesus. All right. Put it in butter. Let's see how it how it tastes. All right, what seasoning did you use? Where is it at? Cajun. Is it in here? Oh, this one. All-purpose seasoning. Lazy and classic. I'm sure this will help a lot. <clears throat> All right, I definitely want to burn that skin or fry it more. Let's see how it looks. This fish is definitely going to need all the help it can get. <laughs> all right. This is my mom's Cajun spice pink salmon, homemade tartar sauce, and a lime. Let's see if it's good. Let's try it by itself with the Cajun. It smells good. Okay, definitely better. Definitely better than the cod, that's for sure. But Cajun spice, I think, is really helping this out. All right, let's try it with the lime. Way better. Way better. Okay. No. Well, it's the Cajun spicing. Do you have to eat the tartar or just by itself? I mean, it tastes good with the just the Cajun by itself. Just by itself. Yeah. Well, I think it, I think it might taste well. better. Oh well, yeah, butter. Butter helps everything. Okay. And it's well done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, because I, I know this. I mean, not the best salmon ever, but. Does it taste like salmon? It tastes like tuna. A little bit. Salmon. Or I mean, the Cajun is like covering up everything. everything. Yeah. But it tastes better with the Cajun on it. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is why spices were invented mm -hmm. to help. <laughs> low quality food. <laughs> spicy too <laughs> it overall would i buy it again probably not but if you're balling on a budget and you want to eat some cheap fish that's decent i guess that's okay if you spice it right maybe i'll try it a few other times maybe with different spices but let me know if you guys got any suggestions that would help this kind of fish or any other suggestions of other things you want me to try. I'm always down for, you know, trying new things and seeing what's out there. I think my uh, next challenge on my other channel, if you haven't followed it by now, is Think, Think, Delete. I'll put the link in the description and probably at the end of this video where I'm going to go sample something, maybe an instrument, if I can find maybe a little baby keyboard or I'm going to go to the toy section and see if I could find something in the Dollar Tree to uh, sample and make a beat out of. So make sure to check that out. Appreciate my mom helping out. She was actually visiting from Alaska right now. She wanted to give me some ideas on how to <laughs> improve it. Definitely helped, especially the Cajun one. That was actually really good. But uh, what, for under $3 or so, obviously not counting the, uh, the tartar sauce and the lime, um, you can have a gourmet cheap meal, if you want to call it gourmet. <laughs> that cod was a little rough. I don't know if it was because there's a hole inside of the the vacuum seal maybe that's why the cod didn't taste r right i don't know in general i'm not a big fan of cod anyway so with that said make sure to like subscribe share it if you thought this was a interesting video and uh, leave some comments down below on some other things you want me to try all right peace it's a dollar though